not everyone is going to, you know, wants to watch a video or they would rather have a tangible piece of content that, that they can actually go back to and reference whenever they want. So this is an interactive PDF that we made here at Greyhawk. Um, I'm gonna go down the power the PDF to show you it first, and then I'll explain to you exactly how we did everything. So right here, right away, you see that we directly embedded the video that Jade had made directly onto the PDF. The video doesn't necessarily have to be a video that you made. You can link any video from the web onto this PDF. So if you have, um, you know, the World Health Organization has been putting out great video content, um, you can easily grab that YouTube video and embed it straight to your, your PDF. As we go down here, you're going to see that there's some quick links down here. Now, these are all buttons that are actually clickable. If you click onto any one of these, it's going to bring you directly down to that section of the training guide. And we have the icons over here with the little information to the right of it. Um, the user can go back by hitting the menu button straight to that, that first page. Um, and again, this is, this is adding, you know, a, a sense of engagement and interactiveness to it rather than just having a static document. Um, another cool thing that we did down here is if I zoom in, you'll notice down the bottom, we have this little um, consent thing. It says, I have read and understand these new policies pertaining to the kitchen. We put that in there because at the last page down here is an employee acknowledgement. So this is saying, um, you know, I understood, I, I read all these guidelines and I will adhere to these policies as best as I can. You can have the employee digitally sign it using Adobe Sign and then send it back to the manager just for their, um, their records. So having a document like this, it, it creates more engagement for the viewer rather than just having a static document with just text on it. Um, I created this in a program called Adobe InDesign. However, you can easily create this in Word. So you would create the document in whatever program that you're using, and then you would bring it into Adobe Acrobat to add in this engagement. So I'm gonna show you the actual raw document that I created using um, InDesign. So this is the actual document and you can easily replicate this in Microsoft Word. Everything I did here, you can easily you know, do in any program that you're using. So to start, what I did was, since this is where I wanted to put my video, all I did was add a placeholder right there. So this box, that all that is is a square um, box that I call it in black so that it would signal to me, this is where I want to put the video. When you export this from whatever program that you're using, you bring it into Adobe Acrobat and there's actually these tools. If you click on more tools, um, they have a whole list of tools that you can select. And if you click on rich media, which is right here, um, it's going to ask you, okay, what do you want to add? A button, add a sound, add a video. So that's exactly what I want to do. I'm just going to draw a video, a box right over my placeholder. And it's going to ask me, select your file or insert it from a URL. So this is where I said earlier, it doesn't have to be a video that you made. You can easily link any video to this PDF. Um, for this one, we had the, the file on here on my desktop. So I'm just going to um, add that. If I do show advanced options, this is where you can kind of get creative with it. Um, there's, you know, you can en enable it whenever, if you want the, the video to load right when the page opens, you can do that. I think that's kind of annoying. So I have it so that when it's clicked, it plays. Um, another cool thing down here is that you can create a thumbnail. So I wanted to choose, have a specific thumbnail for this. So I created a separate one. Once you click OK, you select your thumbnail. It's going to do its little thing and it's going to import that video directly on to that, that PDF for you. And now it's clickable. You can um, watch it. It's, it's good to go. So that's exactly how you add in a video to a PDF. Um, the next thing I want to talk about quickly is just how we did these, these links down here. So if, if you remember, these are all clickable. Um, very, very easy to do. So in whatever program that you're using, you just design something that looks like a button. So all this is is a square with an image laid on top of it with a little title. And if you click on Edit PDF from Acrobat right over here, um, you're going to get this link button. So you click on add or edit web or document link, and then you draw that link right over the button. 
Once you do that, it's going to ask you, do you want it to be invisible? I do want it to be invisible because I had already added the button, you know, visually using my design program. Um, that's, it's going to ask me, what do you want it to do? Since we're internally linking it, we're going to go to a page view. So it's going to ask you, okay, use your scroll bar to zoom down to the page view that you want. So you would scroll down since this is the first page. Just go like that. I'm going to click set link. And now my button is set. That's automatically going to drop that user down to the next page. Um, the same thing applied for this little menu button. All this is, is just an icon that we grabbed from online. And then we're linking this to the first page. So it's going to ask me again, go to page view. And then all I would have to do is set that page view that I want, set link. And now I have a menu button right in my PDF that's interactive. Um, the last thing that we want to talk about is the consent form. So this employee signature, you'll notice that I didn't do anything. Um, Acrobat actually picked up that this was a signature and it added it in itself. Um, to add in the check boxes, which are these right here, you'll notice that these aren't clickable at all. Like I can't click it. Um, so in order to make that an interactive checkbox, all you would have to do is there's an option called prepare form right on the side here. It's one of the tool options. I'll go into that again. So right here, prepare form. Um, this is going to allow you to add in more interactive tools. So if you look right up here, there's this checkbox. So all I did was click on that and draw it over my little consent box down here. Now I just created a checkbox that the user can click it and um, you know engage with it a little bit more saying I did acknowledge it and I did read it. So again, those are just little um, tools and you know tips and tricks to kind of make your PDF come to life rather than just having a static um, PDF that's boring with just text on it. Making it interactive can really you know make it beneficial and make the employee actually you know engage with it a lot more.